I started to feel um, uh, very sick, I had a lot of headaches um, and I was lying on the lounge a lot, vomiting um, and yeah, just serious headaches and um, yeah, it was, just, it was just very unusual and we weren't, we weren't entirely sure um, what was wrong. Well, my dad took me into Royal North Shore Hospital, um, stayed overnight, uh, then I had or then I was assessed um, by the doctors at the hospital and uh, they ordered an MRI. I was sent over to uh, the Children's Hospital, Randwick Children's Hospital, and, um, and I was operated on. They tried to um, remove the tumour completely, uh, but because of its size they were unable to. That operation was uh, partly successful uh, in a sense that it did initially relieve the pressure. About a week or two weeks later, um, I started to experience double vision. Soon after, the, doc the, the doctors basically just said, you know, we can't wait any longer, we have to start treatment. And so uh, my chemotherapy began. You know, when I found out that I wouldn't be able to play for a long time, it was, it was, it was devastating. I really love playing football. I play at a rep level. I play for Manly United FC uh, in the New South Wales Premier League. But at the same time, throughout the time period that I wasn't able to play, I was using football as as fuel to get through get through my treatments because I just I wanted to get back on the field so desperately. So I was using it as motivation to get through the hard times and get back to being normal and back back on the football field again. In total, I had six cycles of chemotherapy um, over the course of a few months. Um, it was tough, um, but uh, I managed to get through it with the support of all my family and my friends. Um, and yeah, I finished, I finished chemotherapy on Christmas Eve, which was nice. Um, got to come home, spend time with the family and all my friends. Um, and then I started radiotherapy um, pretty, pretty soon into 2017. I think it was about um, uh, late January. Um, and I finished radiotherapy in early March. Uh, which was the end of my treatment um, and so I was very relieved as were all my family and friends you know uh, for, for the treatment uh, to be over. Yeah, it was, it was fantastic just being able to play again. It was, it was an awesome feeling. My coach actually uh, awarded me with the, or handed me the captain's armband, which was, which was a nice touch. And the uh, members of the club formed a, a guard of honor for me on the field as I, as I walked out, as I walked out with the team, which was awesome. And, um, and, the, and the ground announcer also kind of made like a short speech outlining my journey and what I had gone through. It made the day, you know, really special for me and for my family. And it's a day that I'll, that I'll remember and treasure for sure. There are a lot of a lot of kids and a lot of people suffering from brain cancer, and it's just it's it's just it's a horrible it's a, it's a horrible thing to have to go through. Obviously, there are other types of cancers as well. I think a lot of them receive like a lot more funding and research than brain cancer. And at, since I'm someone that's had brain cancer, you know, it's like I especially you know love to see more research and funds being distributed towards brain cancer. It's not it's not something nice to go through. It's for a great cause. Uh, you'll be supporting all the research and funds that are going towards brain cancer. I can't wait to see you there. <laughs>